Hey, Gina. Hey, Jeff. You look comfy. Actually, I am. Why are you comfy? Well, this is day two. Um, uh, post day one was surgery day? Surgery day was day one. Okay. And today is day two for my robotic hysterectomy. And uh, You don't look like a robot. <laughs> I'm not a robot. Okay. But uh, I am feeling a little better. My neighbor, Judy, let me borrow her heating pad. Oh. And it has been lovely putting it on my um, very much bloated, hard tummy. It's uh, been helping me with the gas pressure. Don't fall asleep with one of those on, right? Right. Who says that? <laughs> you do. <laughs> but taking good care of me. But yeah, she'd have it on for about 30 minutes and then maybe turn it off for a little bit. We got like then, a control panel or yeah, something? Yeah, it's got a little control on it. And I think this is looking at this. Is, she's Judy's probably had this since the 70s. It's know. kind of like a 70s kind of material. But it's been so helpful. And I must say, day two was so much better than day one. Day one, I was really miserable. I... Uh, it was uh, very painful, and it took me a while to get ahead of my pain. Today, I didn't need any Percocet. I've only been doing the um, ibuprofen. ibuprofen 800s every eight hours. and um, With food. With food. And uh, at um, 10 o'clock this morning, I was finally able to pass a little bit of gas. Yay. Yeah, oh my gosh, that was such a relief. You were tooting your own horn. I was tooting my own horn. And you know, some people get to stay at the hosp stay overnight at the hospital, and you can get one overnight at the hospital, and some doctors uh, and hospitals kick you out right after your surgery in a little bit of time in the recovery area. And I had the recovery area and then kick you out. Um, but a lot of times when you spend the night... Usually, it's as soon as you can toot, they let you go. And my toot was this morning. So, uh, um, let's see, my surgery was at 7.30 in the morning yesterday. So, at about uh, 27 hours, 27, 28 hours, I was able to have, have a little toot. And it did make me feel so much better. And so, um, I've been able to pass a little gas. So, wait, what was the event for which you earned a gold star. I got to poop today. Yay. <laughs> and that's yeah. something that I was really worried about. That happened this afternoon. And um, I, have been, I have been working for that. And what I mean by that is um, uh, a couple of days before my surgery, I took one dose of Miralax and one um, Colace tablet because I didn't want to start off having a whole bunch of stuff in my intestines and have it turned to cement because of um, the anesthesia is very constipating. And so I was trying to work ahead of it. And yesterday I had uh, one dose of Miralax and one dose of Colace, but I, I didn't poop yesterday. And um, today I did one dose of Miralax and a Colace and my mom told me I should really have a second dose of Miralax, and my mom's a retired nurse practitioner. So uh, tonight I'll be having another dose of Miralax. So that way I stay on top of it because I can't push uh, because it's so sore down here from the robotic hysterectomy, um, you know, still just being day two. I, I can't push. Um, I have to sit on the toilet very gingerly and gingerly to even release my pee. Um, and so I really can't push, but, um, I did have, uh, a little bit of loose stool today. So I was excited about that and, um, uh, hope that things will go out smoothly tomorrow. I've been doing lots of walking in the house, walking in, uh, circles through the living room and the dining room. Not very fast, but still walking by myself. I don't need a cane or, or a walker or anything. I can just, um, I'm able to walk pretty well. Why do they want you to do that? Um, that also helps to relieve the gas. And when, and when we talk about this gas, it's not necessarily intestinal gas. 
it's they put a bunch of air in your um, cavity. Blow your, you up like a balloon. Blow you up like a balloon. So that way they can do the, they, um, I have four, I showed in my video yesterday, I have um, four incisions in my stomach, but those incisions are where the little robotic hands go in. And then um, they pushed thing. everything out of my vagina is how they okay. pulled out the uterus and the ovaries and the fallopian tubes. But they still had little holes for the instruments to go in. And so, um, anyway, and my incisions don't hurt at all. They didn't hurt yesterday. They don't hurt today. But it's just that my whole stomach is so, um, is so bloated and so tight because of all this air that hasn't escaped yet my cavity and um i understood it from the paperwork that they gave me that somehow your bowels will suck in that um that extra gas too. yay yay and walking helps with that okay. to help kind of move um I don't know, your blood flow or something. I don't know. And it also helps uh, fight uh, blood clots. So it's really good. So I've been doing a lot of walking and uh, and my paperwork. But you've been that, resting too, right? A lot of resting. That I can rest for an hour or two and then I need to get up and walk around for a bit before I rest again. And I've been doing that all day. But I'm feeling so much better. It's so much easier to talk now. Uh, yesterday I didn't, I didn't want to talk to anybody on the phone or anything, uh, cause I just was in a lot of pain, but today, uh, doing lots, lots better. And it's just day two. It still will take six to eight weeks to 100% heal. And I'm not to lift things more than 10 pounds and, and to take it easy. Oh, and I stopped bleeding, uh, they had me wear a maxi pad um, from the hospital yesterday, and today already I don't need a maxi pad because my maxi pads were were clean, so um, no blood. So I haven't been doing any bleeding. I've been able to eat. Uh, I've been eating better. Yesterday I had mostly uh, yogurt and crackers. applesauce crackers, um, and I found these almond crackers at Costco. Delicious. Uh, so I had a lot of almond crackers and, um, that was just about it. Maybe a little, I had a little bit of fresh raspberries and blueberries that you put on my yogurt, which was nice. You're welcome. And I had a piece of, um, oh, and you treated me with raisin bread, a piece of raisin bread toast with a little peanut butter on it. And that's peanut what I Peanut butter had. and butter. Yeah. Mm. And that's what I had yesterday. And, uh, today I had more yogurt, more raspberries and blackberries I had a little bit of strawberry ice cream my favorite and um and you made me a gyro so I got to have a, a meal that was like a real meal and I did that after I finally was able to poop and that meat was high high protein but not not really very tough or and that, no it was, it was it was very tender ten, we very got very a, tender yeah yeah we got that meat at Costco as well uh -huh. the gyro meat and the non bread and fresh fresh freshly cut cute, um, tomatoes and onions and a tzatziki sauce with it oh it was so good and so I have had one regular kind of meal like that and more of that Alani protein drink too so getting some protein in but I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday and I've been able to talk to my mom on the phone for quite a bit this afternoon which is really nice and I'm just starting to feel more like myself again so we'll see how things go tomorrow have a wonderful day and if you're having a robotic hysterectomy no you'll it it'll be a little hard at first but it, it gets better and it'll be worth it in the long run goodbye